how many people go absolutely nuts when your customers, I mean, I'm assuming a lot of folks here are in agencies, agency work, working on other customer stuff. Okay, in-house guys, keep your hands up, in-house guys, okay. Does your boss ask you what your page rank is? Yeah, does it drive you nuts, right? Just say no, this will help, okay? It's named after Larry Page. <laughs> it is not about your ability to rank in the SERPs. Google says they use page rank to determine how frequently they might crawl your site. And it's only roughly the same order. Okay, that's it. You're welcome to grab that slide. You're welcome to grab all three of them and shut everybody down. Do not follow it. It doesn't mean you're going to rank in the SERPs. Okay. Trust, oh, oh, track some basic industry stats. Right? You never operate in a void, so let's get the big stuff down. Position number one, the average percentage of click-throughs. 42%, and don't worry about it because number two is right, oh, right there at 11.9. Could you highlight that 11.9 for me? I have a supporter here because if I do this, I'm going to fall down the stairs. 11.9 from 42%. Oh, boy. Do you want to be in position number one? You betcha. All right, we drop right down to 8.5. By the time you're at the bottom of the page, it's actually looking better than you know, rank number nine. But it drops way out of there. Number one still gets it. Know where the long and the short tails are. This comes out every few months, every you know, year at the most, and so on. This data source was Experian. You'll find it around the web. It's free. Keep your eye on it. The long tail's still out there. It's still the, the monster piece. Now we're going to get into the analysis. What are you going to track? We track visitors to the top sections, and we do it by week. So every week, we can kind of see whether numbers went up or down into the different sections of our website. Try and divvy up your stuff in the same kind of fashion. Groups of pages where you can easily track to see whether or not you've got a bump up or down. Okay. We track successful events. A successful event for us is a download, a subscription, a sign up, conversion, stuff like that. All right, you can see all of those lists in there. So this is just a portion of our micro tool usage. How many times do you guys come in and make use of our tools? Okay. Action. Now. Start looking for common denominators. If the successful pages all have one or more things that you're doing right, you want to stick them around in the rest of the web, uh, website. What is it? Is the button bigger and redder? Or did you say something different? Did you have bullets as opposed to conversational paragraphs? Did you have particular kind of offer? Did you have specific kinds of colors, images, KPIs, whatever, oh, excuse me, uh, USBs, which is unique selling propositions, whatever it was that you were doing right on the pages that constantly convert, take a look and see what you're not doing on the other ones. Move it around your whole website. Start doing, uh, and of course, test. So tracking SERP rankings, search engine uh, results page rankings, is not interesting. Gee, I'm number one for what? Right, dive deeper. Track whether your conversions are coming in from vertical search, local results, image searches that are inside the SERPs, not just Google image searches, right? although those are also interesting. Video results, news and blog results, shopping, instant answers. Why would you want to rank in instant answers, and why would you think you might get conversions there? Well, you know, you might be after things like stats, but you might be after tickets. Instant answers has some fun stuff there, okay, whoops, and of course, the link graph. I love this bird, <laughs> okay, so the rise of the social graph says, yeah, people are actually looking at SERPs to see what you've said recently, even if they're not looking at Twitter or Facebook and so on, LinkedIn, it's interesting, it's beginning to fill the SERPs now as well, and if they find that stuff, are you actually converting? So news results, real-time results, local results, image results, filling up all of those search result pages. Find out where these guys are clicking through. It's not just they're coming to you for a search for the word of your brand. They're not just coming from SEO mods, they're coming from one of these that will be the result. 